Crystal. So welcome to the fourth and final video that I'm doing for Milani Cosmetics. So I figured that I would save the best for last. Actually, it all turned out to be the best, but I thought that I would save these for last. Milani sent me every single blush in their baked blush category. Milani had asked me if there was anything in particular I would like to review. I mentioned the blush because several of you had asked me if I had ever tried the blush, do I like the blush, what's my favorite blush. So I mentioned to Milani that, you know, my subscribers have a particular interest in your blush. So they went ahead and just sent all of them, which shocked me. When I opened the box, they literally sent me every color of the items that we were going to review or that we discussed reviewing. I thought that this would be a great opportunity to let you guys know about how amazing and how beautiful the Milani Baked Blush Collection is. So at the end I will have pictures because there's just no way that you can see the beauty without seeing it up close in a picture. And I will also put this all on my blog because I really want you guys to be able to take the time to save it or, you know, save the pictures or bookmark it, whatever you want to do. Okay, so there are nine blushes with one being a matte. I'm going to start off with a matte. So for those of you ladies who love your matte blushes, and I'm just going to tell you right now, all of these blushes, no matter what the color is, are beautiful. They will complement any skin tone you can deepen them up you can lighten them up of course some will complement certain skin tones better than others but all in all you cannot not find your color in this category so the very first blush I'm going to show you and it's a matte is called 04 Terra Soul it's absolutely gorgeous again it's their only matte and the packaging is stunning the packaging really makes it look so fancy that when you see it in the stores on their display it's something that's very eye-catching now the blushes they open like this and here you have your little dome of blush beautiful when you open that little dome up you have a mirror which is right there and then it comes with its own little brush now like I said this one is the most matte that there is it has tiny tiny little bits of sparkle in it but overall, it's not a shimmer. I would not categorize that as a shimmer. I like this one a lot, actually, because it is like the perfect peach, but it's also just this neutral, like, terracotta. It's beautiful, beautiful color, and I think that this would go well with anybody's skin tone, from a light skin tone to a dark skin tone. Now, next, I'm going to show you very quickly the one that is the most talked about and has won the most awards, and this is Luminoso. Very beautiful. It's number five. Now Luminoso seems to be everybody's favorite. This is the one that I always see on the shelves when I go into Walgreens, when I go into a place that sells um, Milani. I always see Luminoso. I have it on right now. Here's Luminoso. Really, really a beautiful color. Same design. Now this next one is called Red Vino. And I actually wore Red Vino the other day, and I was a little nervous because I thought, this is really, really dark looking, but I love a reddish pink with that gold in there. And it actually wasn't so bad, I'll tell you that. It comes off a little dark, but you can lighten this up. You know, here, I'm just going to blend it in a little bit and blend it out. It has a little bit of a range. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. It's just gorgeous. And I think that Red Vino is actually one of my favorite colors out of this entire baked blush collection. So all of these blushes are baked and made in Italy, which is very cool. Here's another one, Fantistico Mauve. Very, very pretty. Fantistico Mauve. Here's one that's absolutely beautiful. It's called Bellissimo Bronze. Now this one I thought was so cool because this is going to look great in the summer. If you don't really want to wear a very pink blush, you can just wear this one and it's just going to highlight those cheeks beautifully. I mean, look at that bronze color. This would also be great for a little bit of bronzer. Then we have Berry Amore, which I just want to show you guys real quick. I'm just going to show these to you because they're so pretty. Really, really nice. Now this one, Coralina. This one is exactly how it looks. It comes out exactly how it looks. This is probably the most in your face out of the entire collection. And it's very, very coral with lots of silver sparkle. All of these blushes do have quite a bit of shimmer to them. These are pigmented fantastically. Here we have Rose Dioro. Absolutely beautiful. 
And I mean, so true to what it looks like. And that's another thing that's cool. You're not going to pick up one of these blushes like Dolce Pink and say, well, it looked one way, you know, in the little compact, yet it looks a very different way on my skin. You know, no, these are very true to what they look like. The blendability is great. One of the downsides I see is somebody who really does not want a lot of glitter or a lot of sparkle in their blush is going to have a difficult time picking out a blush from this particular collection with only one matted blush or closer to matted blush. And again, that's Terrasol. I also think that the color they chose for Terrasol is, is a very neutral color. This may look very good on pretty much anyone. It's a more peachy neutral However, when you're looking for something without sparkle, you may want a little bit more option. You might not just want this shade for a sparkleless blush. You might want something a little bit more pink, but no sparkle. You might want something on the redder side or the purple side, but with no sparkle. Milani has done something that is just great. They made a beautiful blush packaging and also a beautiful blush on the inside. I'm gonna read to you from the Milani website, milanicosmetics.com, about what they say on their baked blushes. A luxurious powder blush that features a melange infusion of colors baked on Italian terracotta tiles. Easy to use, sensorial in texture, and the nuances of color become extraordinarily luminous. Silky smooth application leaves your face looking healthy and radiant all day. What I think is really phenomenal about Milani's blushes is the fact that these are only $7.99, yet these were made in Italy, baked on a terracotta stone, all of that, yet they're keeping it to $8 for one of these, where we see a lot of other companies charging $28, $38 for a blush that's baked on a terracotta stone in Italy, the whole nine, yet these blushes are just as good. The color range, I think that the color range is a really phenomenal color range. Nine shades for Milani, I think that that's phenomenal. I think that that's a really good idea for any drugstore cosmetic company to have. Give some sort of a color range that your clientele are really going to want. You can really dress up your face with any of these blushes. Now these blushes do last very nicely, like I mentioned, they wear very well throughout the day. I did not need to touch them up once, not one of these colors, and I've worn all nine on different occasions. I did not need to touch them up. I did not notice them really wearing kind of funky. They did not get patchy, and I do have oily skin, and like I said, they did not irritate me. I did not break out from them, and Luminoso, has definitely become one of my favorites. And this one, like I said, it has won some awards. It's been just raved about in the beauty community, YouTube beauty gurus, lots of people in love with this. And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous color, really, really nice. When you look at blush, you know, you can go from one range to another, but you're not gonna be doing green blushes, blue blushes, black blushes. You're gonna stay in this range of neutrals, corals, pinks, and some tans, purplies, mauves. You've got everything here, at least one of everything. So I think that out of everything I've reviewed that Milani has sent me, the blushes have to be my all-time favorite. These, I cannot find a single thing to critique. I don't think that they could have done anything better with these. I think the price is amazing for what you're getting. I think that everybody, any skin tone, any ethnicity, will find something that they like in these blushes. And I really think that just the product itself, how it stays on, how well it goes on, how nicely it blends, the, the product is perfect. The ingredients, everything just lined up when they made this product. So I hope that this has encouraged you to at least go check out the website at MilaniCosmetics.com. I will put in all of their social media networking as well so you can go like them on Facebook, follow them on Twitter, and go to your local Kmart, Walgreens. Sears, pick up one of these blushes, you ladies. I'm telling you, you cannot afford not to have one of these. $8, they're great. Thank you guys so much and a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart to Milani Cosmetics. You have by far been one of my favorite companies to work with and I think that this was such a wonderful experience to work with Milani on this and these four reviews have really been eye-opening to my subscribers, at least I hope so, and I've been getting some great messages about how loved Milani is and I think that this will just help encourage more people who have learned about products that they possibly had not known about before to go out and try something new. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.